In this tutorial, I'm going to show you my workflow with Git. So today I'm going to create a new repository and add the code into GitHub. I have a new setup of Laravel, which is also configured on my home state virtual box on the URL myball.app. Now what I will do is basically add this Laravel code to GitHub so that I can use version control. So let's go to GitHub, create a new repository and then let me name the repository as mywall, same as the URL and a short description of what the repository is about. We can change it later anytime. And now we have two options which is public and private. I cannot do private right now because it requires a premium account. So yeah, I'll go with the public account right now. But yeah, if you want to make your code private, you don't want others to see it, you can do a private repository for sure. Anyway, so for now public is okay, create repository and now we are given with these steps to initialize our repository and we will skip a few so the first thing will be as per the instructions i need to initialize my git repository so i'll say git init okay now i have the git initialized on this folder and you know i can do a git status and check what are the files which will be under git I can do an add so you know, something like git add dot which means this folder will add all the files to the git index but you know, before I do that I would like to make a small change and I'll be using PHP storm for this project so I will want some folders to be excluded so let me pull up the git ignore file where I can specify which files or folders I want to exclude so below dot env I will write dot idea slash which will help me exclude the idea folder from version control so git add and then I'll say git commit my message the messages can be anything for now I'll say init project so all the files are created but now git doesn't know that it needs to push to this remote URL right because it's only git it doesn't know it's on github so let us copy this add the remote URL and then we do git push dash u it will be origin to master you need to do this only once later on you can do direct git push there will be no problem okay so we have pushed the code and you can see all the files are available here we have successfully added the code onto github if you make subsequent commits then they will be shown here and you know as per the workflow if you want to clone this repository and you are working again something like that like let me go to my desktop and I will say git clone the URL to a folder called my wall dot underscore demo right I have the checkout go inside the folder I have the entire thing but I don't have the vendor folder right if you see we have slash vendor excluded from git ignore so what do we do? We do composer install and it will install all the packages required for Laravel based on the composer.json file and it will generate all the .envs and everything. That's about it. If you like the video, do click on the thumbs up icon and share this on Facebook and other social networking websites.